Here is an interesting resynthesis technique that's um, pretty unique to Bitwix Grid, although you can probably also find a way to redo this in something like Pure Data or Max for Life or Reactor or something like that. A kind of modular environment you probably just need to find the right modules so what we've got is a break here and we want to kind of resynthesize this using a dome filter so this is a really interesting filter basically what this does it is analyzes a signal as if it is a single sine wave and then it outputs uh, different things you get like a real and imaginary which we're not going to be using which is basically just the um the normal sine wave and then a phase shifted signal which is quite useful for other stuff like pitch shifters and stuff like that uh, frequency shifters sorry and then you get these other two signals which are basically um what the volume of the sine wave would be and what the phase of the sine wave would be if our input signal was made of a sine wave. I hope that makes sense. So what we can do is we can get a sine wave here. Um, sorry for stealing your catchphrase uh, dash glitch. So we can get a sine wave here. We can input this in the phase and set this frequency to zero. And then we can also multiply this to kind of use this as a volume envelope. So now this is basically determining the volume and this will recreate this original signal here using this sine wave. So it should sound pretty much exactly the same unless I messed something up here. Uh, what I've got here is a break by the way. So yeah, you can see um, we've kind of remade that original signal using this, this sine wave. It sounds just the same. Why would we want to do this? This is boring. What the hell? What's the point of this? Well, we can now mess with the sine wave and kind of resynthesize this original signal with different oscillators. So we can do stuff like uh, turn it into a saw wave with this skew here or fold it up or something. I'm just going to let you listen to this. It's quite interesting. Lots more nonsense we can do with this. We can, for example, uh, because we know this is our phase and this is our envelope, um, we can also start doing stuff like, I don't know, adding additional phase modulation to our sine wave by just adding an, an oscillator in here or something like that and adding that to the phase. Uh, not multiply, I want this to add and then listen how, how that sounds. <laughs> because we know this is our phase, this is our envelope. Hmm, we can also use another way of extracting our envelopes. Let's just use an envelope follower and um, put our original signal in that and kind of use that as an envelope. I'm gonna maybe do this with like a blend. I forgot the keyword shortcut, I'm sorry. Uh, merge blend is shift. So we can kind of blend between using our Hilbert transform envelope follower from the DOM filter and using a different kind of envelope follower. And, um, the clean result will obviously be our Hilbert transform because this is built to work this way. And the other, other is just a different kind of sound. So let's listen to that. Or we can get something really snappy like this, like just use a slope down for kind of envelope following and um, use an absolute. So basically what we're doing is we're just rectifying the signal, flipping all the waves up and then making them not go down quite as fast. So we get quite sort of transient, heavy, snappy downward envelopes here. You can maybe just visualize them in the second out. Or we can kind of process these envelopes, we can bend them. And this way kind of add extra energy to our transients, you can kind of hear this. Now let's maybe also, um, I don't know, FM our transients a little bit. So we can like get a sign here and use this kind of FM technique where we had the um, add this together, but only add this on these kind of attacky bits. I don't know, I'm just messing around here. You can do all sorts of stuff with this once you understand the basic, okay, taking phase and, and amplitude apart and resynthesizing with a sign. Um, let's just put this in here. Let's see what this sounds like.
you can get all sorts of weird sort of interesting sounds with this um uh, there's a couple a couple of different things I've made using this. Um, let me think if there's anything else to say. I don't think so. This is really the basic idea using this dome filter. And um, basically starting with this setup here. Just multiplying by the amplitude. And phase modulating by the phase. Zero pitch sine wave. And then we can just um, start messing with this. We kind of process a signal in really weird ways. You can also, I don't know, turn this into wavetable. And then we can like go through different waves and kind of resynthesize our signal from different, I don't know, with a telecaster wavetable or something like that. We can also pitch track this. Let's maybe do that also. Um, let's just turn, like, get some notes here. We just need four, I think, or like two. Let's just do two, just to kind of show the, the basics. Um, let me move down an octave or two, because I want something kind of bassy, something like this here, and just use this as a pitch here. of get some kind of baseline here pretty cool all sorts of weird stuff we can do with this uh, just messing around with this basic setup of sine wave amplitude phase and then just going off to wherever maybe you find something interesting let me know cheers <laughs>